Tonight, analysts describe an abysmal performance by the state Democratic Party in Saturday's election, with one calling for the party to be burned down and rebuilt. David Jones explains and speaks to a Democratic state representative who faced a major challenge this election from within the party. The failure in this past election cycle is, is, is pretty catastrophic. With low voter turnout statewide, around 36%, voting in New Orleans took an even sharper nosedive at 27%. Just over a quarter of registered voters in a major Democratic stronghold took part in the electoral process. The Louisiana Democratic Party is no longer a legitimate opposition party um, to, the to the majority Republican Party in the state of Louisiana. Robert Collins is a political analyst with Dillard University. All of the pollsters, all of the analysts, including myself, basically were expecting that, that they would be able to because the polling said that Jeff Landry probably should not have gotten over 50% on election night. With 52% of the vote, Landry won the governor's race outright, with Democratic candidate Sean Wilson only capturing 26% of votes. At the very least, in the past, the Democratic Party has been able to put its candidate into a runoff with the Republican candidate. Even though they might have lost that runoff, they're at least, they were always at least able to, to put a Democrat in, in the runoff. It's pretty staggering and pretty shocking that they were not able to do so this time. It was the most surprising. It's one thing for them to get involved in my race uselessly, but then to not pay any attention to the gubernatorial race um, is political malpractice. Democratic New Orleans State Rep Mandy Landry faced a challenge of her own from inside the party, a challenge she overwhelmingly defeated even as her opponent racked up endorsements from the governor on down. For several months and especially the past few weeks, there's a pile on by um, more well-known Democrats. Obviously, no mayor or city council got involved in this at all. And then election day comes and there was no ground game for Sean Wilson whatsoever. I don't think they did anything for him. They did not have a get out the vote operation. They did not have any sort of structure uh, to get their message out. They did not have any structure to transport voters to the polls. Um, it, it, it's just it's just staggering. They all were either asleep or, or purposely negligent in not at least forcing a runoff at the top of the ticket. Um, really makes a lot of us question, what are they doing? Both Landry and Collins said the party would need to be rebuilt from the ground up, preferably, Landry said, with younger leaders. You know, the first step to recovery is admitting you have a problem. And um, I've been getting in trouble for that, and a few of us have been. And now, after what happened Saturday, everyone saw it very clearly. I think that it can be turned around, but it takes some time. For their part, the state Democrats did release a statement on social platforms, not to media or even on their website, congratulating the three Democratic candidates for attorney general, state treasurer and secretary of state, all of whom did make it to the runoff. The runoff election will be held November 18th.